Guys, so I told you we've got three or four pups on Spore, I believe. Listen, uh, this is one thing I would never recommend. If you're getting into the breeding space, I would not recommend you start with the French Bulldog. Uh, I know a woman who whelps a litter, or whelps litters uh, for a living for, at this moment in time. We'll put it like this. Shepherd has pups, pups all over the yard. Shepherd wants nothing to do with the pups. Guy says, hey, I gotta bring these pups to you. Guess what? Not only do the pups thrive, survive, and live, they couldn't get any colostrum from the mother, but they were shepherds. <laughs> and uh, I believe they're still alive. You would say, well, they're, they're still alive. When you're dealing with French Bulldogs, Bulldogs, Chris Moore, we will see my guy here soon. And believe me, this time I'll have the team with me. You know what it's like when you got a team with you? Everybody there, that means the video is going to be way more informative and uh, I'll get to keep Chris going a lot easier. Uh, like I said, Jamarcus makes my life easy a lot of times uh, and getting us all out there, me staying him for two days before the big show, Beast of the East coming. You go, oh, we're, we're Miles good. Miles coming. Miles coming. It's, it's going to be a show, to say the least, and this is coming soon. But French Bulldogs, I wouldn't recommend, even though people see it from a financial opportunity, hey, these dogs make money. They're a uh, designer breed. Their, their biggest influence is humans versus choice. And there are people who still believe that a dog should have the choice. Meaning, if I take my female to a boy dog and the boy dog won't mount the female, these people, oh, this breed's not happening. Imagine waiting six months and trying to find the right male and your female has no interest. And you have this personal thing going on where you go, we're not doing AIs if she doesn't if she doesn't think this is a good idea. I'm gonna trust her instinct. Now that's interesting. But in this case, all these breedings, and not to say Frenchies can't lock up, I know it's a bunch of Frenchy fanatics out there that think y'all dogs are the greatest of all times and can do anything and have natural litters. There are people that do have natural litters with Frenchies. I wouldn't personally recommend it. <laughs> we know with even the bullies, Stan had a dog that was stuck in there. And um it cost him $2,000 to walk down the road because he thought they could have a natural both birth. And for the most part, the dogs were, they were matched. They weren't, Rocco's not a crazy big dog. Mir's not a crazy big dog. I know for a fact she had to have a C-section with Ego. <laughs> They're not gonna be small pups. Frenchies require, what's that thing called? Aspiration after every feeding day near. Uh, they require a lot of time, a lot of energy. Remember that they also lack farm to, uh, arm, forearm to elbow, the ratios are off, which means they don't move as well or as efficiently. Now, there are Frenchies that can swim. Most books will tell you they wouldn't recommend it <laughs> because poo poo does happen. And this isn't a dog that definitely shouldn't swim probably 20, 30 minutes, but they get out there and they have a good time. I've seen them. She swims a little bit and I know some, uh, a couple people actually in Europe that <laughs> have seen videos of their French Bulldogs swimming in lakes and anything, all kinds of places. But if you're getting into the breeding thing, you're thinking about, hey, what, um, what, what breed should I breed? For what I've told everybody, breed what you believe in. If you don't believe in it, don't breed it. It's, it's just people, hey man, you think I should do chows, poodles, uh, papillion, all the blue. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> is that what you want? Uh, not necessarily. Well, is, it, is it popular? I don't know. I'm not a popular guy. So I wouldn't know how to answer that. We got into this because people kept handing me up. They just kept giving me stuff. They're still giving me stuff. And I have to turn a lot of it away. I could probably breed Cane Corsos. I could probably breed Central Asian Shepherds. I could probably breed Jack Russell Terriers. I could probably breed every dog that I want if I really reached out and wanted to work with people. And they would work with me. Uh, because I could streamline their process to getting the dogs into your hands. <laughs> Point is this. If I was going to start with the breed, uh, that, again was easier to manage, it wouldn't be a French Bulldog. I do believe that Frenchies are great dogs, very far as like getting into homes. We're in an apartment complex right now. Great dogs for apartment complexes. Like if you you want a dog for the family, this is the dog that you get one of these things don't require too much. And that's what uh, my buddy's old lady, she's like, oh, I like it because them jokers ain't do too much. <laughs> Oh man, so great barrier to entries in terms of getting a dog into your house, your family, getting you guys, hey, welcome a dog. A shepherd in this type of setting, ain't a good idea. Great Dane in this type of setting, ain't a good idea. Uh, a Malinois, I definitely wouldn't recommend in this type of setting. 
those dogs need way more attention time energy and and definitely work to say the least great for families not great for your first time breeding in my opinion the other thing that's going to kill you if you're not aware of the cost we're talking 15 to 2000 on a c-section we're talking a hundred dollars on a progesterone test we're talking ai three hundred dollars we're talking ultrasound hundred dollars you start going down the line you say i'm three four thousand dollars in and i ain't even got a pup yet and mind you nine out of ten french bulldogs are not going to have ten puppies their their litter range is between three and six a lot of times that's what's common and accustomed to this breed so now you got to think what am i actually focused like what am i trying to get and and bulldogs and other bigger breeds their whole goal is to have big litters so there's all kind of breeder hacks and, and tricks that people use to try to increase. They won't tell you this, but the follicle stimulator, I believe, which releases more eggs at the right time over the 48 hour time frame. That's a whole nother thing. I don't want to have big litters. I got to be honest with you. My fear was that even in Amira's first litter, that she was going to have like 12 or 13 pups because she come from that. What you gonna call it? Uh, her Amira was like number six or seven. She has thirteen siblings. So I go, no, no, no. We, my, I'm, I be just no, no, no. Praying to God, Nala has. Well, Jamar's got to deal with that. So, hey, <laughs> <laughs> none of my business. I gotta be there for moral support. But you go, he's got, he's got to deal with that. Whatever she got, that's between him and God. <laughs> Be the females I read, you go like I like that five and six range. Those are good numbers, good numbers, good numbers. Guys, as I repeat, don't get that, don't don't breathe the fridge if you can help it. We'll talk more another time.